this is Pets in Action 101. In today's video, I'm going to show you some plastic egg enrichment ideas you can do for your animal. Also, this is a collab with Fluffy Bunny Forever. She has an awesome YouTube channel and she has very cute bunnies, so go check her out. I'll have her link down below. Easter's coming up, and you know, after Easter, you have all these plastic Easter eggs left over. And if you have animals like a dog, or a cat, or even a bunny, you can use these in different ways to make your animals less bored, and you'll have something to do with leftover plastic Easter eggs. So for the first DIY or enrichment idea, you will need your rabbit's favorite treats, or right here I have Luna's pellets and some rolled oats and some Easter eggs. So what you want to do is you'll want to open the Easter eggs and you'll want to put the special treat inside and you'll want to close the Easter eggs And as you can see, or as you can hear, the pellets are inside there. And you want to do that with the rest of your Easter eggs. And then, you'll want to give it to your rabbit. Let's see how Luna likes it. Luna! Your bunny should be entertained for a long time with these. And if they're having trouble opening them like Luna is having, you can kind of opening them, open them a little bit and then see what they do. Luna finally got it open. great thing for Easter for your rabbit. You can hide them around their cage or a, a run area and you can um, let them find each one. You can and you can do this for cats and dogs too. All you have to do is put the specific animals tree inside and give it to them and they'll have fun for a long time. This is the one for my dog. I also put rolled oats in it because she really likes rolled oats. So let's go see how she likes it. Get it, get it. What's inside there? She's starting to smell it. Get it, open it. Get it, poppers, get it. Get it. She got it open. <laughs> They're all over the bed now. <laughs> it's on her nose, it's on her nose. You can also do the same thing for a cat. Here I have two Easter eggs and some cat treats and I'm going to see if Princess likes it. So let's make her some. If I can do it with two hands. <laughs> or one hand.
The treats look like this. They're just small squares filled with catnip. I'm going to put one in each of them. Okay, let's go see how she likes it. Princess, you want a treat? Get it. Like Luna, you might have to crack it open, at least for the first time because Princess has never done this kind of trick before. Oh, she got one. Let's see if she can get the other one by herself. Oh, no, she didn't. She's still trying to get it. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Good job. There she goes. She got that one. Now let's see if she can get the other one. Yeah, but she really enjoyed that. After some practice, I'm sure she could get the hang of opening the eggs even, because Luna did eventually. She did get the eggs open by her, on her own. I think she just liked the empty eggs. You just like them empty eggs? All right, let's move on to the next one. The next thing you can do is you can fill a bucket, any kind of bucket, with the plastic Easter eggs. Now, I didn't have very many plastic Easter eggs to fill up the bucket, but it can still work. And you can take your rabbit's treats. I still have Luna's pellets and some rolled oats. And inside the bucket, you can sprinkle them around the eggs, kind of hide them. And kind of mix it up. It would be much better with lots of more eggs. Okay, and then you can show it to your rabbit and see what she thinks about it. So she's looking for the treats. Like I said, it'd be much better with lots more, but I think it makes her comfortable with less. Because it might not be very comfortable standing on these Easter eggs. But as you can see, you can put the you can put this bucket with the Easter eggs and the treats inside in the rabbit's cage somewhere, and um, it's something fun they can do for a little while if your rabbit is bored. Like the other one, you can do this with other animals. Do it with a cat or a dog or a hedgehog or anything like that, as long as they're supervised and. Um, just put their kind of treat in there and they'll have lots of fun. So the last DIY or enrichment idea is something very simple but something I use every day. It's this little egg cup. And what I do with it is I get Luna's pellets with it. This egg cup is one tablespoon and Luna gets three tablespoons every night. So she gets one, two, and three. And I've been using this little egg cup for forever. Now remember that different rabbits have different feeding sizes. So if your rabbit's bigger than Luna, then it might need more. But if it's smaller, it might be less. So make sure you look that up or watch another video about how much you need to feed your rabbit before you just give your rabbit one egg cup or just two egg cups or like I'm doing three egg cups because she might need more or less. Now, let's get on how you make it. So all you'll need is an egg and a pair of scissors. So what you wanna do is you'll want to open up your egg. 
as you can see, in the middle of the egg, they have this thin little line thing that can easily be cut off. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your pair of scissors, if I put them on the right way, and you're not going to want to do it exactly like this because I only have one hand to do this, but you're gonna, going to want to take it and cut it in half. And once you've done that, you'll have two different things of or sides of your egg. So you're not going to want to use a small one because that is definitely not enough to um, that's not a tablespoon. You're going to want to use the bigger side of the egg and there you go. A simple little craft to scoop your rabbit's pellets with. Shiloh did not get to be in this video so I let her be in the outro. So thanks for watching this DIY and don't forget to go subscribe to Fluffy Bunny Forever. Her link is down below. So thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe.